Welcome to NFTV, everyone. With me tonight, um, we have a really special project on the XRPL that I'm super excited to announce, XR Phoenix. And with me are the creators, Joseph Simpson and Sean Chambers. Joseph, do you want to tell everybody a little bit about your history in art? And then, um, Sean, yeah. your background as well. Sure, um, I can kick things off. Yeah, Sean's definitely uh, the brains of the crypto uh, side of things and the technical, logistical, everything. Mm -hmm. And I am the artist. We've actually worked together before on a few of his other businesses. I've helped him designing labels and stuff. Um, I, my parents uh, own a gallery down here in Gulfport, Mississippi, and I started selling art when I was uh, 14, 15. I started teaching art um, for art classes at the museum and at the college when I was 17, uh, 18, 19, and 20. I did that. Um, I've done everything from ceramics and painting to digital art. I'm currently a full-time jeweler, um, so I work with silver and gold and precious and semi-precious stones. Uh, I basically, I live off of my art. I, digital, I did a little bit of digital art for a while. I've designed labels for um, e-cigarette companies. I've designed labels that have been featured all around the country and also in Korea. I had a, a, a line of my uh, labels get selected for a line in Korea. So I've been doing uh, art and I'm now a full-time professional artist for about 17 years. Oh, that's so cool. And it's awesome. Like I love artists that actually like live off of their passion. That's like the more love and energy you put into it, I feel like the more good everything. So yeah, absolutely. Great. It's it's tough to do, but um, jewelry makes it, you know, a lot more uh, steady because everybody likes jewelry or knows somebody that likes jewelry and everybody's getting stuff repaired too. So if you're not buying new stuff, you're getting stuff repaired. So it's a, it's, it's a blessing to be able to live off of uh, my artwork and to be able to do this project with Sean. Oh, hundred percent. Sean, tell us about your history, your background. Yeah. So pretty much uh, he's the man with the hand and I'm the man with the plan. Um, so we come together and created XR Phoenix. Um, I've actually been an entrepreneur for probably about almost I'd say almost eight to 10 years around there. Um, many successful, a lot unsuccessful, um, but that's part of the process. I actually started a wholesale distribution company about seven years ago um, with a trademark T-line as well, um, and then expanded my distribution company um, throughout the Southeast, and then also um, dabbled in a few retail stores. So been doing that, kind of actually cutting back on the entrepreneurship a little bit and focusing more on investing um, and kind of investing in other projects and companies. So it's, it's, it's been a great ride. So pretty much been my own boss for say half my life. Oh, I can so relate to that, but that's just it. Like with being an entrepreneur, you're going to get knocked down and you have to have grit. You've got to have that to keep on going. Definitely. I absolutely love that. Failure is a uh, part of the process. And, you know, we all learn from our failures, which is really important. Oh, uh, yeah. Part of the process, though, is that like organic, really awesome growth. And it's because of Sean's distribution company is why we ended up getting together. And he was like, man, I've been thinking about doing this thing. Like we met up at a Starbucks because um, I needed some CBD gummies to help me sleep. And I was like, hey, man, you still doing that thing? He's like, yeah. And so we got together. He's like, hey, man, I got this idea. And we sat down. I was like, dude, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so like it was really cool that his business is actually like kind of the reason why we ended up getting back together uh, and, and, and moving forward on this project again, because we hadn't seen her. I mean, we chatted here and there, we hadn't mm -hmm. seen each other in, you know, about a year, about a year or more, you yeah, know, so. Sure. I love that. You came back, you united. It's like a little meeting of the minds. And yeah. I love that you're doxing yourselves for this project. Like that shows a lot. Like, hey, yes. we're, you know, we're serious about this. Exactly. <laughs> I love that. So our Phoenix, our summary. Our story of rebirth has many chapters and the beginning is near. XR Phoenix, we bursting forth with 800 hand-drawn, story-driven NFTs full of colorful characters. Through the lenses of 10 modern and historic series, witness rebirth, ascendancy, apex, resilience, and reclamation. Five iconic chapter poses, which embody the XRP holder's journey. Each chapter of 10 series will feature 16 unique characters. One ultra rare, two rares, three uncommons, and 10 commons. That's 160 unique characters for you to follow and collect. Don't worry though, 
if continuity is not your thing, we got you covered. After the XRP Phoenix has properly introduced himself, we'll be randomly generating 522 NFTs in the classic single post style from a collection of thousands of unique, but still hand-drawn elements. Peppered amongst the 500 common NFTs will be 15 uncommons, five rares, and two ultra rares. We're excited to bring the XRP Phoenix, the symbol of what it means to persevere, to life with our beloved XRP community, and look forward to continuing our journey alongside of you all. So we have the basic um, math right here of the NFTs and everything. The XRP Phoenix NFTs will be minted on the XRP ledger, but the XRP Phoenix token is available now on Zoom and Dex and the XRP toolkit. So a question on that, is it a one-to-one -one then? One token mints one NFT? Yes, correct. So it's a very, very low supply of only 13, 22 tokens. I like that. I think um, with it being rare, I think that that gives it more value. Um, why did you guys choose the XRPL to mint on to do your project? Um, well, a few reasons. I mean, there's actually quite a few. Um, the cost, the scalability, the open source. Um, one of his favorite things about it is the green, green aspect of it. Um, that is really important to not only us, but to the world. I think that's, we really kind of need that technology. And um, one of the main things that drew me to it is the XRP community. I mean, it's probably, in my opinion, one of the best communities in the world and in the space. And um, everybody just helps each other build and, and grow and learn. And it's amazing to see the partnerships build out throughout the world being laid before our eyes before the Phoenix rises. Oh, 100%. The XRP community, the XRP army are so loyal as well. And I love that. Um, could you guys explain what the correlation is between the Phoenix and XRP for anyone who doesn't know? Yeah, so um, these last five years has been a journey with XRP. Um, currently, XRP is one of the only tokens left um, that hasn't hit its all-time high um, in the past several years. And what I see coming is the future of a new financial system. And I believe a lot of assets will actually crash. Um, and then I see the XRP rising like the Phoenix to the number one spot where it deserves to be. So that's kind of, kind of what I see for it. And it's what I get. I think, um, I feel like I remember seeing a picture of the Phoenix rising, didn't XRP start on like, I feel like it was like 1988 or something like that initially. Yes, um, there are, there. I think there's patents um, for it, but it was kind of under other names, I want to say. Um, and then also looking at, I think there's some old pictures of Peter Thiel and other people kind of showing the Phoenix and stuff. And I think the, the plot and you know, the replacement for this financial system has been in work for a long time. Cool. Can you tell us about like the characters and everything, the art, just? Yeah, um, I'll take that one. So the XR Phoenix will be featured in five different chapter poses. And so what we mean by that is the cycle of rebirth of the Phoenix is not just a straight line. It's, it's, it's cyclical, it's circular. So we are gonna have the Phoenix bursting forth from the egg. And that is the first chapter that's gonna be released. And so each character in the series is gonna be generated. It won't be, the storyline won't be completely randomly generated. We have actually been bonking our heads together for like hours and hours, putting together this series list of different um, groupings basically. So to give you an example of one, like there's going to be um, a matrix series, right? Oh, so nice. Within that matrix series, you know, we're going to have different backgrounds for the Phoenix to be, you know, uh, featured against. And then there are going to be different headgears, eyes, outfits, and handheld items, as well as the egg. The egg will also be featured um, in these series. So like, for example, again, going to the matrix series, the egg will be resembling the pods that the people break out of in the matrix. And so that'll be like, you know, in the background and the Phoenix will have burst out of that. And 
you know, one of the ultra rares um, may or may not, we're still, this is, we don't want to give away a whole lot. So we're going to say, you know, uh, with plausible deniability may or may not be uh, Neo, you know, for example. And so Neo will have, you know, his trademark glasses and the trademark trench coat and, you know, uh, trademark uh, pistols in each hand and that sort of stuff. And, and so that will be, and with the Neo haircut, you know, and so that will all be featured on the XR Phoenix. Um, and then different characters from the matrix, we're gonna go in and model different hairstyles, different outfits, different weapons, um, different backgrounds to all. And that's gonna be the different stuff that changes on the different ones. So based on rarity, it's gonna be how much your Phoenix has. So for example, Neo being fully kitted out as Neo is gonna be one of the ultra rares. Then one of the commons may be a character with a recognizable hairstyle and some recognizable weapons, or maybe a recognizable out outfit and a recognizable pair of sunglasses or a pair of sunglasses and a pair of out, uh, you know, handheld items. So um, the way the characters are going to work is each one of the characters that's developed is going to go through each one of the chapter poses. So if you get the first Neo, you know, uh, where he's breaking forth from the egg, each one of those chapter poses is going to have Neo and there's going to have one where he's busting out, one where he's rising, one where he's reached the apex, one where he's landing again, like coming back down out of the sky, and one where he's standing on top of the mountain, you know, claiming victory, being the, being the, 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 the can I say badass on this? Is that, yeah. <laughs> being the badass that he is. Yeah. Um, yeah, sure. So, so, you know, so each one of the characters, you know, even the comments, each one of the comments is going to be, it's not going to be randomly generated every time. It's going to be randomly generated. Well, we're going to generate it. Uh, basically, I think there's 160 different characters. It's on the white paper. I should probably yes. have it. But yeah. I think it's 160 different characters. And each one of those characters is going to have five individual poses for that character. So you'll be able to collect all five of them and arrange them, you know, in a really neat way or have it scrolling by on your digital picture frame or however you want to do it. So basically, you know, that's the collectability of it is that, you know, if you have one of those ultra rares and somebody's got, you know, all of the comments that you need, you can trade them back and forth. And so that's where we expect a lot of the community to really have fun with it is to try to, you know, collect where they, you know, relate to or whatever. And so we're going to have 10 different series, the matrix being just one of them. And we're going to have them, you know, to suit basically every different kind of uh, and every kind of different person there is. Yeah, and it oh, seems okay. like every chapter kind of encapsulate the journey of an XRP holder. You know, I mean, the last five, six years is I mean, we've been up, down, you know, batted SEC case coming. And all we can think about is us being on that mountaintop at the end. And, you know, it's like this encapsulates that whole journey. And I think it's going to be really special. Oh, no doubt. I love this. I love this idea and everything. And all I keep thinking in my head is like when you're saying ultra rare and talking about this evolution and the eggs and everything, like it's reminding me of a first generation holographic Charizard card. And I Absolutely. feel like yeah. <laughs> Pokemon, I just That's feel like exactly, the community. Yeah. Exactly how I think of this is like the XR Pokemon, basically. Like that's what we've created here is like this whole like system of classification. And the cool thing about it is that uh, you know, the plan is right now we have it all laid out for our orig original plan, our initial plan, but hopefully the community and the, you know, will want more. And, you know, we, we I want to release more series in the future. So we start out with these first 10 because we didn't want to like, you know, overwork ourselves and we wanted to make sure we could get it all done here because I'm the only artist working on it. So it's a lot to be hand drawing and maintaining, you know, a job to pay my car bill. <laughs> So, um, but, you know, we do hope that in the future, you know, the, these will be the original, it'll be like getting that holographic Charizard, you know, and then, but in the future, we'll have other releases of more characters and more characters, and we'll have the, the, the framework laid to where we could also do like custom pieces, you know, mm -hmm. like if some, you know, Snoop, Snoop Dogg wants to get himself, you know, custom XR Phoenix. Or, or we could do a custom Jenna XR Phoenix. Custom Jenna you know, XR man. Phoenix. You know, we'll like <laughs> make your tattoos on the wings. Oh, and, I would be with, honored. Like, really nice I hair and stuff. So <laughs> like it's, it's, that's the, the goal is to create like this really good, you know, uh, community oriented, interactive art experience. And that doesn't even get into the, the token. I mean, that's, mm -hmm. you know, there's even more to that. So I mean, this is clearly really well thought out and I really love it. I love everything I'm hearing so far. Do you want to, um, yeah, let's talk about the token. 
Yeah, so basically we decided to uh, create 1,322 tokens. Um, 1,322 has been a big number in the community um, as well. And like you said, we wanted to not make many tokens. We want to keep it exclusive. And one major thing that I love and look for is utility tokens. So we're coming up with a way to make our tokens um, a utility token. And one way we're going to do that is we plan on installing royalties into our um, art and then whoever holds the tokens is actually going to get a piece of royalty for each item that sells on the market. So um, we're trying to build this exclusive community, reward the community, and um, have something encapsulate the whole journey of XRP. And to me, the Phoenix is the best best bet. Yeah, that's that part of the uh, the the rewards of the tokens is another part of the XRP journey. You know, being being the 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 few, the proud, the brave. You know, holding on to the tokens and like staying in the fight. And so we want to like develop this. You know, because again, so you. It's like the Pokemon thing. Like if you had that binder, but imagine if you had that binder of all 150, you know, Pokemon and you got paid just for having it, not for selling them, just for having it. Like, so that's basically what this token is, is that when you hold that token and we come out with the next series and each one of those gets royalties on it when we sell it, when we sell it, you know, when it gets resold, all of that's coming back to the token holder community. So it's going to be, it's going to be really big. And another cool thing, actually, when we're talking about the 1322, we actually black hold uh, the tokens on the 13th of this month, like purely by accident. Like when we were putting <laughs> it in the white paper, we were like, all right, when do we black hole it? No way. <laughs> yeah. like, you know, January 13th, 22. So, um, uh, you know, we kind of, yeah, we definitely feel like um, we're at where we need to be. I mean, so it's really, really awesome. I love the synchronicities. I love that. I'm extra bullish on it now. So like, where are you guys at right now on your roadmap? So on the roadmap, basically we are in the white, we're almost to the white form phase. Um, you know, we've got the white paper done, the white form to be released here pretty soon, probably, you know, after we do this um, interview with you. I think uh, this week we're going to release the white form and then we're actually going to do an airdrop to the first 2000 people who fill out the air, uh, white form. Um, so... Oh to kind of, yeah, get that out there. Um, so it doesn't matter where you set your trust line. It's exclusively the first 2000 on the white form. So um, everybody still has a chance. I would say follow us on Twitter, set your notifications. Um, we'll be dropping it at a random time. And yeah, we're pretty excited for that. That prevents the bots from yes. stealing all the tokens. I love that you're doing that. I cannot yes. stand there like, oh, the first whatever. I'm immediately like, your suspect. <laughs> right. So yeah, we plan on uh, airdropping 20% um, of our tokens out to people. Okay. Well, the giveaway was 5%. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Is there... Yeah, that's why we got this guy here coming up with all the, this is, that's what we call him the plan. He's, he knows all of that, you know, stuff that's, he's made it to where it's been a real, like every, every idea he's had on that front has been like hitting the nail on the head, I feel like. So we're really excited, really excited to be moving forward. I mean, the tokenomics is important. <laughs> it really you, is. Are you going to release how much or is it, are you going to let it be a surprise until you've thought it out more of what the airdrop is going to be or? Yes, um, I do have um, the equation worked out and I believe it is uh, zero or what is it? 0.16 of our token will go out to the first 2000 people. I think what's really cool about this is whenever you really, really want something that's going to drive the value, the fact that you have such a limited supply and you need a full token to mint one. I mean, I just see the value going crazy. I love that. Is this the first Phoenix on the XRPL like project? I believe so. It's the yeah. first one I've heard of. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Where can everyone buy this at? Where is it available? So so currently we haven't established a set marketplace. Um, there's so many great projects that's being built out right now, like Sologenix isn't even released their marketplace yet. And I'm seeing a few more being built out. So that's, you know, we we're kind of still deciding on that. And we'd rather kind of wait a little bit until we're practically finished with the art to pick so we could make sure we make the best decision for that. So as of right now, the only way you could 
secure your way um, to get an NFT is to um, go ahead and buy an XR Phoenix token. And that's live. You can buy them now. It, yes. Currently live, yeah. And it's available on the Zoom Wallet Dex and XRP Toolkit. Not on so well, yes, it would be available on Sologenic too, right? Yes, yes. If you had to trust that, okay. Because you can connect just your Zoom wallet we, to that. Yeah, we're just um haven't reached out to them for their marketplace yet. Okay, got it. Uh what's it sitting at right now, the price of it? Um, currently, the entry price is 75 XRP per token. That's a deal, in my opinion. Not financial yes, yeah, advice. No, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> we, set it, we set it really low, you know, on purpose mm -hmm. uh, to, to, you know, it, get as much of the community involved as possible. We want it to be something that, you know, you can buy without having to, like, get nervous about. You know, there's enough nervousness mm -hmm. and, like, enough, like, you know, anxiety in the XRP community. We don't need to, like... Yeah. do that anymore like we want it to be something that you're like as sure about it as you are you know about xrp yeah so. i even uh have our xr phoenix shirt right here so we are fully that. ready for the the rebirth and while xrp is only sitting i mean say what it's probably hasn't changed much from 77 cents when i looked the other day we've been sitting kind of close to that so that's honestly it's really inexpensive so yeah we, we definitely that. expect it to be really high i think there's several um, exclusive projects on the XRPL that is, you know, um, several hundred, even a few of them that's several thousand per token. So we're definitely, um, definitely excited to see where this goes. Yeah, and I don't think. Yeah, I don't think so, they offer royalties and have utility either. So uh, yeah, that's, just, that's going to be a really good one. Yeah, I mean. Are you guys going to reach out to on XRP.com just to get your face out there to them? Because I know oh. that there's for a lot of artists. Yeah, we definitely will, um, for sure. Yeah, yeah NFT projects. Yeah, definitely. I think it would be a great idea. Um, do you have any other, like, where can everyone reach you at? Just so. Um, you know our main um, place to reach us is on Twitter at XR Phoenix. Um, we just go ahead and follow us, set your notifications. We um, drop notifications and updates daily. Um, especially with our white form coming out very soon. Um, people want to should stay on top of that. And yeah, pretty much um, that and our website, which is www.xrphoenix.us. Um, but Twitter, I would say, is the, the best spot to where we're on, you know, every day, almost all day. So awesome. And it's a lot to you guys. Do you have a telegram yet? Not yet. We were plotting on a Discord. But um, we're kind of full full booked right now, right? Yeah. So we're trying to work that out and um, get that. We together. have an email too, don't we? Yeah. I mean, if there's like a direct question somebody had for us, you know, they could reach out on Twitter or over the email. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we'll respond to it that way. But for the time being, like, yeah. it's a lot. You know, to, to yeah. <laughs> both both of us have been busting hump trying to get this yeah. Phoenix. You know, like. The, the the groundwork laid mm -hmm. and the artwork drawn and everything so but as soon as things get rolling you know whenever we got the everything all the, the groundwork done the foundation laid the nfts released and people start reaching out for like custom projects and stuff that'll all be uh you know we'll, we'll set up a, a way to, to do that in the future right now it's just baby steps you know taking as many of those as we possibly can mm -hmm. and moving forward yeah I think that I agree with that. I think it becomes very overwhelming whenever you have all these different places where people can reach out to you, but you're still trying to work on your project. You know, it's your baby. So I feel like, you know, if you know about this this early and you know, you know, so I totally agree with that. I get it. I'm trying, like I'm running around all over the place just trying to answer this question, that question. So I yeah. really... <laughs> Yeah, I've seen you getting involved in uh, numerous projects and, and doing good as well. So I'm sure you're nonstop busy yourself. Busy, but we love it. Like this crypto space is addictive, but the NFT space is even more addictive. And, you know, of course, I'm a huge XRP fan and I also love XLM as well. So I just want to learn literally as much as I can and me as my artist and just you know, showcases many projects. There's literally so much talent out there and we definitely have to be able to support each other and have each other's backs. Yeah, it's amazing to me. Like I've worked with just about every medium I can get my hands on. Like, and so this NFT space is a brand new medium. I mean, because you're creating a digital footprint, you know, this eternal, immutable, 
digital footprint. Like I like, I work, I'm a jeweler now because I love the unforgiving nature of metal as a medium. Like you, when you, when you put, you know, a scuff or a scratch on a piece of metal, you have to go back and like do something about it. You can't just rub it with your finger or like, you know, so it's like a, it's a really permanent type of uh, medium as well. And so working with, you know, the NFT, the idea of creating this like super permanent piece of art is really, really attractive to me. And that's one of the reasons why when Sean brought it up, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hundred percent down to do this. Yeah. I knew he was the man for the job. So, you know, it's just more synchronicities and, you know, it's been working out great. You guys seem like a great team. Um, I'm excited. I got the honor to sit down with you. Do you guys have anything else that you want to add or share about your project before we sign off? Um, I think we pretty much covered it all. Um, I would just say follow us on Twitter, keep up with the updates. Um, white form coming soon, airdrop. Um, we will be throwing out more sneak peeks of some of our art. We're still um hand drawing it every or he's still hand drawing it every day. And yeah, do you have anything else to add? No, I'm just that you know, I'm really excited. I I've I I stayed off the, I bought Bitcoin when it was a dollar. And I Smart. sold it when it was like 700 because I thought there was no way I was going to get any higher. And I was like, I was so burned that I was like, you know, I'm never going to do anything with crypto again. There's no good time. There's no good time. And so I've just been like staying away from it. And then Sean had this project and I was like, this is something to believe in. Like this, the creation of this project is so like brilliant. Like I was like, this is, I got to be a part of it, you know? And so helping him to develop the concepts and to, you know, put our heads together to really, you know, come up with a way to reward the XRP community. Cause when I heard about the coin again, like Bitcoin, I was like, ah, it's bad for the environment and like blah, blah, blah. But everything that XRP stands for was, was so attractive to me that I was like, I want to help this community. I want to help this coin. So this project is really a way for us to give back to this community and a way for this community to get involved and to continuously support each other like into the future. So this really is like, if you're looking for a project to get involved in that is not only rewarding, but you know, fun and a real powerhouse for the future, this is, this is the one. I mean, this is, I truly wholeheartedly believe that. And I'm like a pretty old school guy when it comes <laughs> to this whole crypto thing. So like, if I'm sold on it, you know, this is something that you know, everybody really should get on board with because it's, it's, it's going to be revolutionary. Oh, no doubt. Zero doubt. <laughs> well, thank you so much, guys. I can't wait to keep following your project. I appreciate you coming on here and also supporting me as well. So I'm definitely going to keep following. If this is funny, it looks like I have feathers on top of my head and I've just realized this. I feel like a phoenix right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, we appreciate the opportunity to come on. It's an honor to, to be, you know, uh, picked up and 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 totally. given the, the audience that you have we really appreciate it of course of course so guys thank you so much have um a great evening keep on killing it i'm i'm definitely cheering you on thank you you uh, too now we'll talk soon all right see you guys bye